Hello friends, welcome back to another solution video. In this video, I will be providing you the solution of RK Trivia February week one first lab solution, which is going to be Cloud Data Loss Prevention API. Before starting the solution, I simply want to inform you that new challenges of the RK February month are now live. You can access them, and I already uploaded a video regarding how you can access them and what are the new updates for the February month. So, if you haven't watched the video yet, go and check out the link in the description box. Now, without wasting time, start this lab. It would be a very easy lab. Just open it, follow me, and it would be completed within two minutes. You're going to start. Lab button and wait for the credentials to be loaded. Credentials are required to log in into Google Cloud Console. Okay. So once you get the credentials, you need to first of all copy the password. This is the password. Copy it by clicking on this copy button. Then right click upon open Google Cloud Console and open it in incognito window only. Incognito window may open karna is baat kadhyan rakhein. Email ID will be automatically pasted up. So simply click on the next button and paste the password that we just copied and hit enter. Now click on I understand button and you get logged in into the Google Cloud Console. On the dashboard, we have to accept uh, terms and condition. A pop-up will arise. So wait for that uh, terms and condition pop-up. The dashboard is loaded. This is the pop-up. We have to accept it by clicking on the checkbox and click on Agree and Continue. Once you are done with this, we have to activate our cloud shell or the cloud terminal. So for that, we will click on this top right icon, Activate Cloud Shell on the top right button. Okay, click on this, and it will start to stabilize the connection with the cloud shell. So wait for it to get loaded. Click on continue button. Now while it's establishing the connection, simply come back to the lab and go to the description of the video. And in the description, you will find the link of this GitHub file. This GitHub file is required to complete the lab and it is the easiest solution. Simply you need to copy this code. Again, link of this code is in the description box. Go to the description, there would be written GitHub code link. Access that and then copy this code by clicking on this copy raw file button and come back to the terminal. Click on got it button. Our terminal is now ready. We will simply paste the password or paste the code that we just copied and hit enter button it will ask you for the permission so click on authorize button and now once this command is executed our lab would be finished our all the tasks would be completed so we have to simply wait for this command to get execute in that time what you can do go to the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon so you won't be missing any upcoming not video notification so now you can see our uh, task is also completed our command is executed in that time so now we can simply come back to the lab and one by one we will get the green tick for all the tasks starting from the task number one Scroll down, keep scrolling, search for check my progress button and click on it and get the green tick. You can see assessment is completed. Now scroll down, same for the other task. Click on check my progress and you will get the green tick here also. If you get the green tick for both the check my progress, you are done with the lab. You can see assessment is completed. Now congratulations, your, your lab is completed. We can click on end lab button, click on end lab button once again. Give the star rating that you want to give. Click on submit button. First of all, give the star rating, click on submit. Now come back to main page to verify whether we actually get the green tick in the lab or not. So scroll down. Open the module and you will see that we get the green tick beside our lab. It means we successfully completed this lab. So if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you have any query, you can ask me in the comment box or on the WhatsApp group. Thank you very much. Good. Bye.